Hey everyone, so here I have um, let me do I have a Linksys E5400 router, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that my firmware is up to date. I just uh, purchased it, so it probably will be outdated. So the way to do that is you first need to be able to get to the uh, uh, ping the router directly and go to the site for the router. Uh, so it's usually going to be some IP address that you have to go to. Now, if you don't know what 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 uh what's the IP address for your router, uh, you would have to search for that. So if you're on a Windows machine, you can type in CMD and the run command to bring up a command prompt, and you can type in IP config. And if you do that, you're going to see this default gateway number, and this is the IP address. So it's 192.168.1.1. If you were on a on a Mac, you, instead of IP config, you would do IF config, and that would give you some results. Here I'm on a Windows machine, so that doesn't work. But uh, on, on the Mac, you'd have to open up terminal, and you can type in IF config. On Windows, you can do CMD to open up the command prompt, or figure out how to get to the command prompt, and do IP config. That would be one way to, to check it. Uh, there's also a few settings inside Windows where it also shows you that information, uh, but this is the quickest, I think. So once you know what the IP address is, then you type it in here, 192168. Uh, it's already pre-filled for me, but if you do um, whatever the IP address is and hit enter, then it'll take you to the page that's for your router. So here you have to type in the password. Now you at some point probably set the password yourself. If you didn't, uh, a lot of times the, 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 the default one could be admin, A-D-M-I-N. Uh, in my case, I do have a password that I set, so I'm gonna type that in and then it'll log me into the router. So then here what I'm looking for is somewhere where it says uh, something related to updating firmware. So I'm gonna go to configurations here and under configurations, uh, usually it is under administration. So I'll, ta I'll click on administration here and here I can see the last option says firmware update. So on the top right, I can already see that this firmware version is 1.0.0.0. So it's the original one that got created for this router. So my guess is that there is going to be an update. So let me click on firmware update, uh, firmware upgrade. And then when I do that, it tells me that the current firmware is actually, that's, uh, let me see, okay, 1.0.0.0.033. Uh, so I'm gonna do check firmware. And when I do that, it's going to go online and go to some links this website and check and it's telling me yes there is a new one it's uh 1.0.00.037 and it's asked and here's a button for me to upgrade it so if i click on that then it's going to grab the file and here in the bottom it says upgrading firmware this may take a few minutes and super important do not turn off the power uh, or press the reset button on the router or the computer or anything because right now it's copying that into the router. It's going to download it and then it's going to install it into the router. And then when that when that happens, it's going to restart your router. So at this point you just leave it as is and you just wait. This does not take very long. It takes you know less than a minute to to download it and install it. Firmware files are super small. So it downloads a compressed version and then it has to compress it as it installs. So here it's going and then I'm assuming we're going to get a message here at the end once it's done that it's restarting itself. So let's wait. It's 96. And it's thinking about it. Oh, 99. And here on the top right, it says not secure. That's not a problem because you're just connecting to your own router. So like if you went to a website that goes outside, then yes, this is a concern that says not secure. But in this case, this is fine because you're hitting your local uh, device, which doesn't have like a security certificate or anything. So here it's probably going through the process of installing, maybe it was downloading that whole period of time and now it's installing or the process at the end. Oh, so there it stopped. So here, uh, give it a few more seconds, see if it reconnects. I can see that currently I don't have a Wi-Fi connection anymore because it is rebooting. So this will take a few more seconds. <clears throat> so let's wait and see. 
and uh, my guess is that it'll reconnect once the router is back up. There it did it. Okay, so after a few seconds, uh, it went and reset the page, and now it's going back here for me to enter my password again. So let's do that. All right, so now I'm back in the Linksys page, and I can go to configuration, and in here I can go back to administration. I can go to firmware update, and here I can see that it's now 37. Now it's weird that they left this like this. It says 1.0.0.0. That makes you think you're the original one, but there's actually uh, three more numbers after the decimal, and only this shows you here. But here, now it's updated. Now if I wanna check and see if it is the latest one, I can do click on check firmware again, and now it's gonna go through and uh, tell me it's up to date right over here. So now I know that I have the latest version of the firmware. All right, so if you're having some problems with your device potentially where it's disconnecting or you're just having trouble with sites or things, one of the things they always recommend is to download the latest version of the firmware for your router. So that's what we did in this process. All right, hope that's helpful to someone out there who uh, is having problems with their router potentially or their internet connection and they want to test and see if it's the router that's, that's, that's the issue. Hope this content was helpful to someone out there. Feel free to like, subscribe, or give a thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.